The vendor code switch program is used to switch an existing vendor code to a new non-existing vendor code number. So in other words, if you had vendor A and you wish to renumber it to vendor B, this is the program that you would use to uh, do this. This screen allows for the entry of multiple switches so that you can load up this uh, table at your convenience, exit the program, come back in, load it up with some more switches, and then switch the actual uh, vendor codes at uh, an opportune time. So if we execute query, we can see the various switches that have already taken place. And this can be determined by looking at the update date field here. And since it's populated, that means that the switches have occurred. I want to stress that this is not a merge program, but it is a renumbering program. So I'm going to, at this point, load up a switch that we will run. So I can go to my list of values for the uh, uh, existing vendor codes and select from that list of values uh, a vendor to switch. So we'll select from our list of values uh, vendor 102 and we're going to renumber that to vendor 155. We save the record. Now once we run the switch what will occur is that all existences of vendor code 102 in every table in the system that includes all historical tables and all current uh, tables such as your vendor maintenance table, anything in purchasing, accounts payable, uh, your invoices, your checks will all have vendor code 102 switch to vendor code 155. So before running this program do not set up vendor code 155 in the vendor maintenance because when you come into the program to enter a new record it will not allow you to do that as the vendor code already exists. We recommend uh, printing the switches out as an auditing uh, it's an auditing method of uh, keeping track of some of your old vendor numbers because in your system you're going to have on hand uh, paperwork that, for example purchase orders or checks or reports that are going to exist uh, with the old vendor number on them and uh, if you're going to ever cross reference back to those uh, you would probably want to take a look at your uh, uh, your print program to see the various switches that have taken place so that's strongly recommended so now at this point we'll click on the switch vendors button and begin the switch uh, there's no uh, report uh, for switching vendors so whatever your destination uh, defaults to you can just uh, let that default and now we're seeing the various tables uh, being switched Now the program has just finished and it will go back to the menu at this point. And we'll come back into the screen, execute query, and we'll see that our update date field for this switch has been populated. So now vendor 102 no longer exists on the system as 102, it now exists as vendor 155. Sometime in the future you can uh, click on the purge switches button and that will uh, delete from this table the various uh, switches so if you're using this as a cross reference uh, you wouldn't want to uh, purge it right away but if you find the screen becomes too unmanageable with a lot of switches then uh, you're free to uh, purge the switches. That concludes the tutorial on the vendor code switch.